Hey guys, how's it going? In this video I have another iOS 7 tutorial and this is actually a kind of special video that many of you requested based off of my past iOS 7 reviews. And in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can get the iOS 7 beta 1 early before it is actually released in the fall by Apple in the final version. So basically there's just a couple of things that you want to know before you actually do this. There's three main steps. One is downloading the correct firmware for your device. The second is getting your UDID registered. And the third is making sure that you follow the steps before you even start the process to back up your phone, etc. So first I'll be talking about all of those by opening here Microsoft Word. All of these notes I've typed up and these will be in the description so you guys can have easy access to them. But probably the most important step before you begin anything is to back up your device to iTunes or iCloud as this is very important because if iOS 7 does not work with your device, you will want to have this saved because your device may be bricked or you may not be able to use it until you actually update to the final version this fall. So you want to make sure you have all of your information saved. If you don't know how to back up to iTunes or iCloud, uh, you can simply go on the settings app of your device, then click the iCloud tab and go to backup now. Or you can go to the Apple uh, iTunes again, right click your device and click backup to iTunes as well. I always do both of those before I even update my firmware because this is the safest way to make sure you have everything backed up. And if your device or something goes wrong, you'll be able to have that information saved. So make sure that you back up your device to iTunes. That's the most important step. And I warned you about it, so I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong and you forgot to back up. So just back up, guys. It's the easiest thing. Uh, next, you want to update to the latest version of iTunes, so simply update on your PC or Mac uh, by going to the App Store or clicking Check for Updates. It's very easy. Um, also, this is a guide on how to install iOS 7 using a developer account, a paid developer account service, or a friend's developer account. So, I'm not condoning installing this without a developer account as I know many of you guys may be looking for. If you try to do that your device is simply going to become bricked or you won't be able to use it until the final version of iOS 7 is released in the fall. So make sure that you're using your own developer account, a friend's developer account, or you are paying for a developer account service which I will get to in a second uh, because you don't want to brick your device or have any of those problems. Um, also I will list all of the downloads in the description so there will be a link that you guys can follow to the correct firmware for your device so just check in the description for those but make sure you download the correct version for your device um, all of them have different versions and the iPhone 5 actually has two versions which you can google to find the correct version for your device so make sure you google it and confirm that you have the right version for your device because you don't want to mess up your device like that and also the iOS 7 only works on the iPhone 4 and later, iPad 2 and later, iPad mini and iPod touch 5G so don't even try installing this on any other device because it will simply not work and you may break your device or cause problems and again all these notes will be in the description so you guys will have easy access to them so that's all my notes for today um, now I'm gonna go ahead and X out of these backup images because I already showed that to you guys um, now again after you back up all of your device information the second thing you're going to want to make sure that you have set is a UDID registration service now I am an Apple developer so I could actually register my UDID by myself and it was very easy um, if a friend has a developer account for Apple you can ask them to activate your UDID or you can use UDI registration service um, I will link this Google search in the description but as you can see the UDI registration services typically charge between five and eight dollars most of them are actually real, but some of them can be scams. But overall, I am leaving it up to you guys which one you want to choose and which one you want to pay for. Um, I'm not responsible for this because I am actually an de Apple developer. So whatever one you choose and whatever one you pick is your decision. Uh, but don't pay anything more than 5 or $8 because then it is probably a scam. Um, and they will activate your UDID registration for you so that you can actually use the future betas and not have to worry about activation issues and you can install the firmware on your device. So go ahead and make sure that you know that you can have your UDID registered and uh, Google a UDID registration service or how to Google or how to register your UDID if you do not how to do that yet. If you're not sure how to find your UDID number you can simply Google it. Um, iTunes has a way where you can plug in your phone or device and click the serial number right here and it will switch to UDID. But Google is your best friend when it comes to that. It will teach you how to find your UDID and how to register it. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, go ahead and check out Google. It is sure to help you. So after you have backed up your device and have everything saved and know that you can activate your UDID uh, registration service, go ahead and find the firmware that you have in the description. 
uh, that I have linked that is correct for your device. I will link it to my website as well, so you guys can check out my website. It looks like this too, the Macintosh Review. I will list all the firmwares for the devices in the description, and I will also list them here on my website, so you guys will have plenty of places to download the firmware. So it will either come in a zip file or a DMG file. If you're on Windows or Mac, you can simply unzip that or extract it uh, to your desktop. As you can see, I have already done that here, and here is my firmware. Um, it's the iPhone 5 uh, second uh, firmware. So make sure you extract the firmware like this. You'll get a file like this on your Windows or PC. And then you will have everything backed up. You'll have the firmware ready. You'll, you'll know that you can activate your UDID. And then you'll be ready to custom restore to a uh, new iOS 7 device. So if you're not sure how to custom restore using iTunes, very simple. All you do is go to your uh, device tab on iTunes. You go in here to where it says restore on your iPhone or device and if you're on a Mac you hold in the option key or alt tab and then click restore if you're on a Windows you click alt you hold down alt and you click restore up will come a little pop-up and from there you can find and pick your uh, iPhone firmware or whatever device firmware on your desktop or wherever you saved it that you downloaded. If you're not sure how to custom restore or how to restore to a custom firmware, go ahead and go to Google to to uh, learn how to do it. I will do restore to a custom firmware. I will put this Google search in the description as well and it will teach you how to do that. So uh, then once you do that, you simply activate your UDID, which I will put in the description as well in another Google search how to activate UDID and from there you should have a fully working device I have iOS 7 on my iPhone 5 and I really am loving it if you have any questions or if this is a little confusing to you be sure to leave a uh, comment in the description or send me a message or send me anything I'm on my social networking sites or an email or something like that I'll be sure to help you out but hopefully this helped you out if it did be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more iOS 7 videos on the WWDC and Apple in general and be sure to follow me on Twitter, my book, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my other vlog channel, which is partnered all in the description. Great ways to stay in touch with me, guys. And be sure to favorite and rate thumbs up as well. And hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you get iOS 7 okay, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.